All right, guys, I got my guy Hagen, my nephew in the chair. We just looked at his first video and it is at 500,000 views. And today is gonna be exciting. We're gonna cut his mullet off. No. No, we're not gonna cut it off. We're just gonna clean it up, get it out of his eyes, taper the sides a little bit, kind of just to trim all throughout. And we're gonna maintain the length at the bottom. Let's hop right into it. All right, so you guys can see we have the hair saturated. I'm gonna start off by finding his crown and we're gonna section from his crown up to his recession point on each side. Go ahead and clip the top out of the way and we can start by setting our foundation. All right, so you guys can see we have it sectioned up out of the way. Now we're gonna start off, we are gonna use the DFS formula. We're gonna set a foundation all the way around the edge. I'm gonna come down to his parietal ridge and out. We're gonna choose a length here in the back. We're gonna leave everything at the bottom. So we're gonna end up going from this length to the length at the bottom. So this is gonna be our guide to follow for the rest of the haircut. Go ahead and work this around one side, back to the other, and then we can start to connect everything together. All right, so we're gonna start now doing vertical sections. I'm just gonna start, we're gonna clipper this. So I'm gonna start at the ear, take it down, comb it out of the way. And now the top will serve as our guide at the top. And we're gonna be aiming down to the guide at the bottom that is existing. So we're gonna leave basically all the hair that he already has at the bottom. And this is gonna re remove some of the weight that we have in between. So we're gonna take this section, comb it out. You can see our guide up here. We can see our length down here. We'll twist our hand out cut that line in. And now we're connecting this guy down to the length down here at the ear. I'll take another panel next to that. You can see we're going all the way down. We wanna get this length down here at the very bottom because we wanna use that bottom as our guide. So we're gonna do this all the way around. We have a guide at the top to connect to and then we will just tie down to the length at the bottom, work all the way around and we can move on to the top. <laughs> Chili boy. All right guys, so standard in the DFS formula, we're gonna go ahead and part it down the middle somewhat following his natural pattern. And we're gonna tie this in just like a crop. We want it to sit pretty even and normal on top. So I'm gonna tie it straight into the foundation on the sides. We're gonna round it in the front and go ahead and take off these bangs. And then we'll take everything up and cut the top. All right guys, so since we tied it in on both sides, we'll have an obvious guide. As you guys see when we pull it up, we have two short parts. We're just gonna point cut for texture straight across, work from front to back, and go ahead and finish the top. And this is the DFS formula, I mentioned it before. If you guys wanna learn a little bit more about it, go to dfsformula.com. You guys can save 15% with code SEAN15. All right guys, I'm just gonna take my blow dryer and knock the moisture off of this. We're gonna come in and do a taper on the sides and then you guys can check out the finished product. All right guys, so we're gonna come in and do our clipper work. You can see where my fingers were to the head. This number four, just to be safe, a number four is gonna tie right in and we're just gonna take everything off underneath so that we can do a taper. So we're just gonna come up, let the hair feed. As we get to the ear, we'll do the same thing in a little more of a round shape. Gonna be turning your head now, boy. Come here, get it off the ear. And everything from the ear back, we wanna leave. So this is just kind of setting our foundation of the sides, tying into the top. And then we'll come in and do our taper underneath, just down here. We'll leave everything from here back. We'll just kind of line up to the ear, get rid of all this, leave the mullet in the back. All right, we're gonna come in and set our ball guideline kind of at the top of the ear. I'm not gonna go too high. I don't want this to be too extreme. Go ahead and bald that out. Now we can come in, lever open, and we're gonna set our first section. 
close it up at the bottom halfway open in the middle and we did open at the top he's got that nice light blonde hair super easy to blend now we'll go ahead and move on to our open one same thing another probably about a half inch up you can see we're already blending in close the one at the bottom of the section we'll use a half card at the very bottom of that section to tie the two together and we'll continue to work up from here. Now number two, right above that, kind of up to the C cup. Remember it's a number four above that, so we're almost finished. Number two, kind of up to that top of the ear section, just so we can get a nice clean line where we are using our clippers. I'll use a number three above this just a little bit, and then we can work our way back down and polish it up if it needs. Now number three, you can see we're pretty much done. Now I'm just gonna kind of polish my way down one and a half underneath where the two was, and we will just continue fading down to polish this side up, line up the C cup, move on to the other side, and then we'll move on to the style. Open one, close one, and a half. He's got a little, I can't tell if it's a tan line or what, probably because his hair has been covering. And there's just kind of a line here that's not going away. I think it is a tan line, but I want to play it safe because we're done with the taper. I don't want to hurt the haircut, but I also want to make sure that the transition is there. So now we're down to an open clipper. I can still see that tan line. So we're just going to kind of leave that alone. You see, we got a nice clean taper. This is definitely my favorite haircut we've done on him yet. Now we're going to come in, edge up the C cup just a little bit. First point that we have consistent hair down to the bottom of the C cup. And then we connect it in up to the corner where the vertical bar is. Boom, go ahead and bald all this out. Nice sharp line. Now we'll go from here to the top of the ear. We wanna leave everything back here for the mullet. So we're just gonna to start to work this direction. And when we start to get to the longer hair, we will stop lining it up. So that's probably all I'm gonna do. Now that it's established, I'll work my way back the other way. And we can move on to the other side. I got same steps on this side and then we will do the finished style and you guys can check it out. All right guys, we're gonna add a little statement grooming spray and 245 indestructible clay and then we'll come in and style it. All right guys, we're gonna use my new Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Super High Speed Blow Dryer. We're gonna use the diffuser. It's gonna come in on medium heat, medium speed, and we're just gonna kind of work some texture into this, and you guys can check it out. All right, hit me with a little modeling. Here's the cut. He is a farmer's son, but I just told him he just went from looking like a farmer's son to a barber's nephew. It's definitely a huge improvement from what he had before. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section. I'm gonna show you guys his 500K video. Make sure you guys click right here and check that one out. All right, tell him peace. Peace.